Here are the starters. Number one, Hooch Hound is owned by Mike and Adam Nicely of Wheeler, trained and driven by Mike Nicely. Two, Myron's Victor, owned by Larry Hybert and Ken Faisal of Crete, trained by Harry Zirin Jr. Eric Ledford is up. Three, Classy Jade is owned by Kathy Cruz of Springfield and Jay Sundin of Crete, trained by Jay Sundin. The driver is Sam Widger. Number four, He's a Tease, owned by Jack and Peggy Hood of Valparaiso, Indiana, by Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, Illinois, trained and driven by Dirk Simpson. Number five, Pretty Boy Henry, owned by Richard Warlow Jr. of Kiwani. Jerry Freeze, the trainer. Dean McGee, the driver. Number six, Gum Corner Vic, owned by Ruth Burkett of Ellery and George Knock Moose of West Salem. Trained by Delbert Burkett, the driver, Connell Willis. Seven, Charging Yankee is scratched. Eight is Farm Boy, owned by Kenneth Hughes of New Windsor, Illinois. Trained by Jim Music, the driver, Dave McGee. And number nine, Budgate Bobby, owned by Bob Buddig of Hensdale. Trained by Jim Ferguson, Dan Knox is in the bike. Post time for race seven in three minutes, three minutes to post. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Pretty boy Henry, who was very anxious to get going. He grabs the racetrack. He's a tease, comes out with him. Myron's Victor is there. Problems for Farm Boy. And Farm Boy is off stride. One of the favorites in this race. He is dead last. He's going to be 25 lengths off the lead. He's back trotting, but he's got a ton of ground to make up. There goes He's a tease to get the lead away from Myron's Victor past the quarter mile mark. Classy Jade is trotting third. Hooch Hound is fourth. Pretty boy Henry is fifth. Gum Corner Vic is 6th. Budgate Bobby is 7th. Farm Boy is 8th. 25 lengths off the lead or better after an opening quarter in 28 and 4 fifth seconds. He's a tease. Leads it by a length. On to the back stretch now as Myron's Victor goes second by 2. Then Classy Jade. Hooch Hound takes to the outside from 4th. He's 3 lengths off the lead. Gap of 3 to Pretty Boy Henry. 4 more to Gum Corner Vic. Then Budgate Bobby. Farm Boy is still last. They got the half in 59 and two-fifths seconds. He's a tease on the lead by a length to Myron's Victor. Gap of two. Finds Classy Jade third a half length. Inside of Hooch Hound. And Hooch Hound is now fourth and lingering on the outside of Pretty Boy Henry. Gum Corner Vic, Budgate Bobby, and Farm Boy to complete the field midway on the final turn. He's a tease. Still leads it by a length and a half to Myron's Victor second by two. Classy Jade third. Pretty Boy Henry fourth. Hooch Hound is dropping out of it. They got the three quarters and one thirty and two fifths. He's a tease. Leads them off the turn by a length and a half. Myron's Victor still stalking his every move, but still second. Two more lengths to Classy Jade. Third. Gap of four back to Pretty Boy Henry. The rest have ground to make up. Myron's Victor to the outside. He's a tease, however, has been too much. He's got him by a length and a half. Myron's Victor needs more. He can't find enough. He's a tease. Much the best here. He's a tease on idle. He cruises home to win it by a length. Myron's Victor, second, Classy Jade, a distant third, 159 and four. Now moving into the winner's circle, having just taken a new lifetime record of 159 and four, and he was never touched, never touched with the whip down the stretch. He's a tease, Dirk Simpson. official result is official for this metal branch jersey two-year-old gelding owned by jack and peggy hood of valparaiso indiana and also owned by mystical marker farms of chicago heights illinois dirk simpson the trainer and the driver of this fox valley standard breads bread performer grab a word with the winning connections in a moment the 4-2 exacta pays 17 dollars 40 cents as the 4-2-3 result is official Let's grab a word with Dirk Simpson. Dirk, rumor had it this summer, when a lot of people were talking about Mystical Victor, some of the folks on your staff said, well, Dirk kind of likes he's a tease also. This horse has been plagued with braking problems. You had a lot of faith in him. What made the difference today? Uh, I think the home, home track made a difference. Uh, I had a chance to drive him uh, at Balmoral and made a couple changes on him from there to here, and uh, still a few more changes need to be made. But he's, he's always been strong, just got to get his gait uh, in line with his uh, power. Well, the changes you've made so far have paid dividends. Good luck in the final next week. Thank you very much. That's Dirk Simpson, ladies and gentlemen. He's the winning trainer driver.